I'm Miss Harder in first grade at Palm Crest, and I will show you how first graders learn doubles. First graders use doubles as an addition strategy. Students explore doubles, doubles plus one, doubles minus one, and near doubles. In a simple double like this, you have five and five, and students would solve five plus five equals 10. In this 10 frame, we have four and four. So 4 plus 4 equals 8. In doubles plus 1, students are still using the property of doubles that they learned, and they're adding one more. So here students are adding 5 plus 5 plus one more. So they already know that 5 plus 5 is 10. They're adding one more. 11. So students would count 5, 10, 11. In this 10 frame, there's 5 at the top and 4 at the bottom. So students are using the property of doubles that they already know, which is 4 plus 4, and they're adding one more. So 4 plus 4 is 8, plus one more is 9. So they would count 4, 8, 9. In doubles minus one, you can have the same add-ins, but instead of adding one, you're subtracting one. So you're looking at the larger add-end. So here we have five and six. So students are going to add six and six. So we're, they're gonna pretend that there's an extra one here. They already know that six plus six is 12. So they're subtracting one because this one up here does not exist. So they get 11. 6 plus 6 is 12, minus 1 is 11. In the 10 frame, they're going to do something similar. There is one missing here from the double, so they're going to pretend that it's filled up. So they would have 5 plus 5 is 10, but there's one that's missing, so they're going to subtract this one here, and they would get 9. So they would count 5, 10, and back one is 9. For near doubles, students are using either the doubles plus one or the doubles minus one strategy. This problem says Evan has seven marbles. Julia has eight marbles. How many marbles do they have in all? Use a near double to solve. So Evan has seven marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Julia has eight marbles. So you want to make sure that they're lined up so students can see the double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I'm using doubles plus one, I'm going to use seven plus seven plus one. I know that seven plus seven is 14, plus one is 15. If I'm using doubles minus one, then I would pretend that there was an extra one here. So then I would be using eight plus eight and subtracting this one. Eight plus eight is 16 minus one is 15.